Hey everybody, DeLong Chat Signatures here. This is episode 90 of my 2024 TTM returns, and we are starting off the week with four successes. We do have a failure though. Took a shot in the dark. Um, this address has been super back and forth on whether it works. So I don't know if there's some sort of trick of like sending money or maybe he only signs trading cards. I'm not sure. But I got back my photos unsigned from Hall of Fame wide receiver Harold Carmichael. Was hoping to at least get one of these back signed. Maybe just looks for a super specific letter um, stating maybe something he did or, you know, something like that. Or like I said, maybe he requires money and it just isn't out there what he charges. Um, but you got to take a shot when you can. Then uh, for the successes, first one we have is a hockey return. This is a 2 of 2 success in 56 days from former NHL defenseman slash left winger. Um, don't know too much about his time as a uh, forward, but Dennis Vile played over 200 games in the NHL. I believe he was a 6th round pick, so a very accomplished player. For someone drafted at that point, and uh, another addition to the set. Then we have a UFC return. This is a three of two success in 42 days from UFC fighter slash uh, Olympic judo champion Kayla Harrison. Been seeing a ton of returns come back from her. She's a two-time Olympic gold medal winner uh, in women's judo. And she is currently under contract for the UFC and has an MMA record of 17 and 1. So, very, very impressive. And then she also included this Topps uh, uh, United States Olympic team card and signed that as well. I've seen other people work on uh, this set or set similar to it um, for the Topps Olympic cards. And uh, very, very good quality, of course, almost all modern Topps is of uh, great quality so really cool of her to add that then we have a couple of college football coaches first one is a two of two success in 11 days from division two head coach for gannon eric rayburn couldn't find any photos of him at his current school but i did get some stuff uh, from his time at Savannah State. This is his fourth team that he has coached. Um, has over 100 wins, a pretty impressive uh, win-loss total. So probably not a Hall of Famer yet, but has a very solid foundation to make the argument uh, with another strong, you know, decade or so of playing. The championship would always, of course, add to that. But um, if he can continue holding his pr fairly high win percentage, he might have an outside chance at it. Um, I think he also coached at Wabash, which is not too far from where I am. There's a couple of college schools where I see the name and it looks like something that sounds familiar or that's really close, but it ends up being, you know, the same name of something around here, but uh, far away. But uh, he actually coached just a few... Uh, probably an hour from where I live, actually. And then the last one is a Division I FBS head coach. And this one's really cool to get because he was an interim coach last year and ended up uh, earning uh, the full head coaching position. So this is a 2 of 2 success in 12 days from Northwestern head coach David Braun. Of course, there was... Uh, a lot of stuff going on with the previous coach, Pat Fitzgerald, a lot of allegations that led to his ousting. Um, I feel like it was rather close to the start of the college football season. So, of course, they just promoted someone from within, um, as all the major candidates had already been hired at that point, and gave, them, gave uh, David the interim role. And uh, he had a very good season with Northwestern, leading them to an 8-5 and five record and a bowl win. He's uh, the first ever Northwestern head coach to lead the team to a, 
I couldn't remember if it was a bowl win or to a bowl in his um, first season. So very good first year for him. Excited to see what else he does uh, in the Big Ten, which is now like the big, what, 19 or whatever it is that they have in that conference. College football kind of just screwed everything up. But regardless, um, that should be starting soon. and It'll be fun to track. Uh, how all the different teams do this year. But that is it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Best luck with your guys' collecting. Take care.